What's up guys, this is Bassi, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to solve this trigonometric equation and I want to solve it for theta when theta is between 0 and 2 pi. The equation is 3 tan square theta minus 2 root 3 tan theta minus 3 equals to 0. So how are we going to approach this? As you see here, this is basically like a quadratic equation. If you imagine instead of tan theta I have x or y, that's going to be a quadratic equation. And solving quadratic equation, we have 3 in here and negative 3 in here. So 3 times 3, negative 3 is going to be negative 9. And we here we have negative 2 root 3. So basically we are looking for two expressions. Multiply to negative 9 and add to negative 2 root 3. So basically um, what I need to do, I have negative 3 root 3 and positive root 3. When you add them it's going to give you negative 2 root 3. And when you multiply them it's going to be negative 3. Root 3 times root 3 is going to be 3. So negative 3 times 3 is going to be negative 9. So the two expression is going to be negative 3 root 3 and root 3. Then I will rewrite this equation like negative 3 root 3 tan theta plus root 3 tan theta minus 3 equals to 0. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to have group factoring. I factor 3 tan theta then we have tan theta minus root 3 plus root 3 times tan theta minus root 3 then you factor tan theta minus root 3 here you have 3 tan theta plus root 3 so basically I factor tan theta minus root 3 then I got 3 tan theta plus root 3. That's going to be equal to 0. So since these two expressions equals to 0, we're going to say either tan theta minus root 3 equals to 0 or 3 tan theta plus root 3 equals to 0. So the first one is going to result in tan theta equals to root 3. The second one is going to result in tan theta equals to negative root 3 over 3. So then we need to find out the theta. Theta is going to be 10 inverse of root 3. That's going to be pi over 3. And since it's positive, we have 1 in quadrant 3, which is pi plus pi over 3, which is going to be 4 pi over 3. And here we have negative root 3 over 3, which is going to be quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. So that's going to be pi minus pi over 6, 2 pi minus pi over 6. So the answer is going to be theta. We have four answers. One of them is going to be pi over 3. One answer is going to be 5 pi over 6. 4 pi over 3 and 11 pi over 6. So we have four answers like this. This is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, when the theta is between 0 and 2 pi, we're going to have four answers. Depending on the range in here, we're going to have different answers. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and please don't forget to subscribe this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding trigonometric equations, trigonometric identities and other topics in math, chemistry and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.